morning. This is our new house. In Bass Lake, the mandatory evacuation was downgraded to an evacuation warning. The air quality is terrible. We were away from our home for 13 days. We got back to the house and, and on the scale of air quality, it's zero to 500, 500 being like the worst. Often it is between 200 and 400. So anyway, I uh, borrowed this massive RV. We're out here on the coast trying to get some clean air. Let me uh, show you around, okay? So, it's big. There's the baby. She's just waking up. So up here is where Athen is. That's where my son is. He's got his PlayStation and a TV hooked up here. I mean, it's really, really nice for him to have his own personal space, right? Like he's of the age where he wants to close his door. We've got pop-outs, two of them. The pop-outs, if you're ever gonna get an RV, I highly recommend pop-outs. It's really insane how much space this creates when it's popped out. Uh, that folds out to a bed, that folds out to a bed. We've got a full-on kitchen uh ran by propane my wife has cooked some amazing dinners in this thing it's so nice to be able to go to the store and just have everything okay so then let's go back here we got the bathroom and the shower we've got our bed uh i've got this is my this is my office and my temporary office here um the storage in this thing is insanity i mean we pretty much could bring our entire house um again this pops out i mean it only pops out what two feet if that, and it is, it makes such the big difference. Kind of tell me what it's been like living away from home. I mean, we're almost three weeks now. Um, I mean, honestly, living in the RV is awesome. I, I don't want to live in the RV, but temporarily living in the RV is awesome. It is pretty freaking awesome. We are going to go for a massive ride today because I don't really have a whole lot else going on we got the speed max that's what we're running big wheels fast wheels we're basically going to just hit the coast go about 75 miles one direction turn around 75 miles the other direction i'm feeling very fit and i'm feeling much happier uh and i'll talk a little bit more about this rv and what it's done to my mental health uh when we get back from this ride Just over an hour in, holding about a 20 mile an hour average. Now I've got a major headwind and that makes me very excited for the final part of this ride, which I'm going to do a workout and do a 60 minute sweet spot with accelerations. But right now, it's beautiful, we're enjoying it and uh, Really hope the wind doesn't switch on us on the way back. That would suck to have a headwind both ways. Like last week I came up here, I did this climb. It was so foggy, I couldn't see any of this. Like none of that. That's so freaking beautiful. There's a lot of cyclists because there's the lighthouse entry and the lighthouse entry obviously was postponed. So a bunch of people came out and did it anyway. I kind of wish I had known because I uh, would have maybe tried to start with a group or something. Dude, look at this freaking view. So tell me, what are you doing out here? You're doing uh, the lighthouse entry? I am virtually, so to speak. I'm actually, got dropped because uh my chain got dropped uh oh <laughs> it's all good though my, my wife's up ahead it's her first 75 mile nice and uh just cruising along cool man up to ragged point yeah I 
really don't understand why I have this road all to myself. This is insane. I mean, the road is open, but no one's on it. <laughs> what a treat for me. What a treat for me. I am very happy. Uh, right now, life is quite unpredictable and we're way out of our routine. We haven't stayed, I mean, this is no joke, we've not stayed in the same place for more than two nights and three weeks. Every night or every other night, we have to move and find a new place to stay. Even with the RV, there's just no long-term availability. So it's been quite stressful on everyone. But this RV is making such a huge difference. And now out here just riding like, you know when you just get those those vibes, bro, the legs feel great. I often don't train. Like, I, I ride for fun. I enjoy it. I very rarely really dig into training. Recently, that has changed because I don't got anything else going on. And so, I don't really have an office set up. I have no way to be creative. So I've just been riding a ton. I did a, a 24 hour week. That was huge, all intervals, like, in the last 30 days, man, I've increased my fitness something like 65%. 65% gain in the last 30 days, that's unreal. And so, right now, I've quite literally never felt better. So we're two and a half hours in, we're averaging good. I'm just ready to rip home. Once I hit the climb on the way out, I really like spent a little too much time taking footage, like getting pictures and and Instagram storying and, and trying to do this video. So if I had just put my head down, I wonder what I wonder what I could have done. Probably lost like probably not that big of a deal, like 10, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, kind of just taking it easy, getting some footage, but how dumb is a video if there's no footage? Be like, bro, trust me, I killed it. It's not fast enough, huh? <laughs> I tried to have the wife do the little flip transition. She not, she's not doing it right. So that was, so what do we have here? We've got the Kayuku protein shake. I mean, it's just, I don't understand why I'm feeling so good. Like, it's just one of, the, there's times where when you're training right and you're eating right, and everything's going well. It's just like, you just keep, you can just ride forever at like a hard pace. Baby is napping, so is the wife. There's a shower in there it doesn't get super hot you know and you only have a limited amount of water and here in this rv park uh they actually have separate showers and they get super hot and so we're gonna go take a shower uh 20.5 miles per hour average 200 watt average for six hours and maybe that doesn't seem like a lot to you but that's what i mean that's over three watts per kilo for six hours and i only stopped once like okay if i started doping 30 days ago i would be happy with the results that i've seen like it's insane how much i've improved over the last 30 days so the only thing i can think of that would explain why i'm feeling so good is that i've been at sea level for 90 percent of this last month right I didn't think that living at 3,500 feet 
was that big of a difference. It's the only thing I can think of. This is Alpacin Caffeine Shampoo for men. Because it's proven to stimulate hair roots and prevent hair loss. Alpacin Caffeine Shampoo, German engineering for your hair. So it's been really interesting to see the WHOOP data, to be objective about how I'm feeling. My resting heart rate for yesterday was 41. Now, my average resting heart rate's between 45 and 48. No, if I'm, I'm overtraining, like if I'm, like I can see that if I'm overtraining or if I'm getting fatigued, it will get up near the 50s, like 51, 52 is like really high for me. Um, but with, dude, I've been training my balls off. Uh, and you would expect my resting heart rate to be spiking or to going up or my recovery to be going down. Like the trends are flipped. The more I'm riding, the better my, my, my data is. The silver lining to this gypsy lifestyle is that my fitness is through the roof, Brian. Okay, so this being like day 21 of us not being at home and having no schedule, no routine. You know, you don't think it's that big of a deal to have a routine. It's such a huge deal. It just like grounds you. Every two days, not knowing where we're gonna stay, where we're gonna be, what town we're gonna be in. It's kind of a lot. Uh, and so every night we take the family for a walk. We really try to make sure that there's at least that because back at home, We'd walk all the time, every night. And so at least that's something that the kids can look forward to and that can be some sort of like, you know, schedule for them. And again, like, we're at the coast. Life certainly rips. But there is a pile of turds that is accruing and waiting for me once this is all done. Like my day job, everyone's been super patient um, with me. But at a certain point, it's like, okay, you gotta start working. You gotta get back into the, the grind. Same thing with videos, man. I haven't made any videos. Uh, it's just been really difficult to try to find a creative space because I literally don't have an office. We're making the best of it. Again, five years ago, we wouldn't have had this opera. Like, we would have been smoked. I don't even know what we would have done because we would have had no money to do anything. We wouldn't even have gas money to leave home. So we would have been, I don't even know what we would have done in a mandatory evacuation. Died. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, so I'm very grateful that we're not in that kind of financial situation, but still, you know, we're paying mortgage on a house. We're not living it. The RV is phenomenal. And I can't wait to use this when we don't have to use it, right? The, the fact that we're like forced to, <laughs> to live in here kind of like taints it a little bit. And so I can't wait to have, take like a family trip where we have, requested the trip that we were looking forward to it that we planned it you know what i mean that would be really cool but as of right now it's giving us a living situation that is unbelievably better than what we had had we're still kind of having to bounce around and we don't really have like any certainty from day to day but our living situation this sort of feels like a home away from home so anyway freaking huge ride for me the bubs just dropped in on the skateboard for the first time. Little Winnie's cute as always. And uh, what an awesome day. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, vegan cyclist. Yeah. Yeah.